Hello everybody, this is the top of Model T coil. And many of you are very familiar with them. Basically what this does is it makes a connection through this terminal here on the side and the bottom one. And it goes around a coil that's around this soft steel core here. And basically this set of points that you see right here that I'm moving is where the current goes through. So as soon as that magnetic flux builds up, it'll pull this little piece of tin down that the points are on and it breaks the contact. When it does that, it will take the power out of this. The magnetic flux drops. The secondary coil, it'll fire a shot out this terminal here and fire your spark plug. And of course, this will build and decrease that magnetic flux as many times as this thing here vibrates. And it vibrates fast. So I just went out and I put it onto my out. Oh, Put it on the one lunger out there, and it won't buzz. So we're going to take a look. At some of the points here and just see exactly what they look like. Because there's not much to taking these apart. It's just a couple of washes on that end. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, it's not very clean. So we're going to shine that up. And we'll shine this set of points right here up. And we will reassemble. And I've got some fine sandpaper. This is a 1000. It don't have to be that, you know, that fine, but that's, I had it, so why not use it? So, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to set that right on the edge right there. And we'll shine this up till it's nice and shiny. Yeah, I'm going to let that go on this one. Pretty darn shiny. And then the next one, you know, normally you'd unscrew these and take it right off and you can do it, but I'm going to, uh, I guess I'll actually just very gently squeeze this right in the vise. Got to be very careful because these pretty delicate boxes, just enough to hold it. And what I'll do is I'll get me a file here So anyway, this one here, as you can see, I got it shined up pretty good. So the biggest thing people screw up on is these rubber grommets here that keep stuff from shorting out. You've got to have them in there where they belong. Oh, easy. Get our two small nuts on here. And you probably saw that I took that off with my fingers. I usually don't tighten them any more than finger tight. 
you know, I mean, I give it as much as I can twist, but a lot of times when you're out in the field, it's kind of nice if you can move stuff without needing a bunch of wrenches. So anyway, I'm just screwing that down until I get this little tin plate so it's close to the other steel rods. That's probably 30 thousandths or so. Yeah, anyway, we'll go on up and put some power to this and see if it won't harm. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hook up one of your wires with your 12 volt here, one of them here, I don't care which one is the ground, which one's positive, and the center one is where your spark plug goes. So, we'll put that spark plug one there, we'll put this one right here. Hard to see after being in that shop. Huh, can get that out of the way from the shadows. There we go. And then my last one is white. I must have fell down here. Looking right at it, I'm sure. This one goes here, this one goes there, right here it is. Okay, I'll hook up the battery. If it was dark out, we could probably see better. That's about what you have for a spark plug gap right there. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know if you see that good or not, but that's what happens inside the cylinder. So, and as you can see, see a little spark down there? So that's how it works. Not a heat coil, real simple. But we're gonna hook this up and see if we can make it run. Yeah, we'll try that.
still got water in the fuel.